All right, you guys, what's up? My name is Brett Maverick. This is a face you're gonna get used to seeing here on this channel because I'm taking it over. Not only myself here today, but I got Dave by my side, at Dave the Biohacker on Instagram. <laughs> We're just gonna give you guys a brief introduction to red light therapy, low level laser therapy, or photobiomodulation. I know those are a lot of big words. I'm still learning myself, but that's why we have Dave by our side here today. Here's Dave. <laughs> We're talking about visible red light and infrared light. Infrared being in the non-visible spectrum, meaning you can't see it, and that's actually what heat is. This light is actually from the sun. We're isolating frequencies that come from the sun. Scientists have found over the years that these particular frequencies can have tremendous healing effects. That's why the sun is so good for you. So what red light therapy is, it's actually taking those same wavelengths of light and putting it on these devices so we can supplement with it. But I just want to make sure that everyone is aware that the sun is king. But for those of you that don't have access to sun or if you work nine to five jobs, using this can be very beneficial. He's right. The sun is king when it comes to providing us with that visible and non-visible red light. Now, depending on where you live on this planet, there is a chance you suffer with shorter darker, colder days, or working that nine to five indoor job as mentioned. But it's okay. With EMR Tech's red light devices, they can potentially provide you with all of the wavelengths and spectrums of light that you were missing out on. We're all learning out here. If you're new to red light therapy, this is for you. There is a plethora of discoveries with red light therapy. There's over a hundred plus years of quality science backing this. If we go all the way back to 1903, Niels Finsen, an Icelandic, won a Nobel Prize for curing lupus with phototherapy. In 1967, Andre Mester from Budapest, Hungary. What's that? Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's hot in here. We're in Mexico. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> he used laser light therapy to promote hair growth and wound healing in rats. And then another one more towards present day within the last 10 years. So the Jeffrey Lab at the University of College London, they also did a study showing, Glenn Jeffrey is a vision scientist, by the way. They conducted a study where it showed that red light therapy with just a few minutes in the morning and in the evening improved and offset vision loss in people over 40 years old. So that's pretty cool. Promote wound healing, reduce inflammation, improve skin health, enhance muscle recovery. The list goes on the potential benefits are bountiful. Try red light for yourself. And once those beautiful biochemical reactions start happening that boost energy production and repair your damaged cells, you will feel like a million bucks. This was at our recent bioculture retreat here in Mexico. A little morning meditation before the sunrise with red light. Sign me up. For those of you that still have a ton of questions towards red light therapy and the benefits that come along with it, stay tuned. We've barely scratched the surface with this, which is why today's video is just a brief introduction and some fun facts for you out there. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys in the next video.